This large target that's been identified is about 800 metres below the surface. It's got a 450 metre dip extent, so it's looking like a very large uh, target with the potential to be a, a very large nickel sulphide deposit. Hello, welcome to Assay TV. Today I'm joined once again by John Prinius, who is the Executive Chairman of St George Mining, who are currently undergoing extensive exploration at their Mount Alexander Nickel and Copper project in Western Australia. John, uh, great to see you again. Um, it hasn't been that long since we spoke, but um, you've had some exciting news out um, this week, potentially exciting news. Uh, you've completed, a, I think, a seismic survey, um, and there's some very interesting, intriguing results coming out from that. Um, before we get onto those results, um, if you could just sort of, you know, sort of set the scene for us. So, um, and, and, and tell our viewers a little bit about just in a quick snapshot what you've discovered so far at Mount Alexander. Thank you, Leah. I'm very happy to be here today. Tell you all about this development. Um, as everyone knows, we've already discovered nickel copper sulfides at Alexander, uh, the best nickel copper sulfides in Western Australia, high gra grades of nickel, copper, cobalt, and platinum group metals. Rare combination not seen anywhere else. Uh, it's across a 5.5 kilometer plus strike length of the cathedral's belt. The geological thinking has been if the, the strike length is this long, the system must be much deeper than the shallow mineralization we've discovered so far. So in the past year, we have been trying to test some deeper extensions. Uh, we have an intrusive mineral system and typically you do see bigger accumulations of sulfides at depth. Um, Surface EM will only see about 300 meters below surface. So we're really drilling drilling blind and down, doing downhole EM. Uh, but the seismic survey that we've just managed to do has really given us a big breakthrough. Mm. And, and where does the, the seismic survey you just carried out, where is it in relation to your, your previous discoveries? Yeah, we decided just to roll out a, a starter survey at the West End and investigators. So we did three lines, uh, each about a kilometer apart. That's where we think the, the intrusive system has its bigger depth extensions. Um, so we did one over there, uh, one line across where the investigators' discoveries have been. So that provides a really good reference point to see the signals uh, across the uh, known mineralization and then see whether the signal is similar to that at depth. Mm. And as you mentioned, I mean, the, the, the seismic, it, it's, it's typically used in the oil and gas sector. You're using it here because you want to be able to see a lot deeper than, than other surveys can, can see, yeah? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's very traditional use in the oil and gas industry, but also been very, very expensive uh, survey to do. It's only in the last couple of years they've developed a more seismic light style of survey, uh, much more affordable, um, and is starting to be used more, more frequently for mineral deposits like nickel exploration. So uh, it's been fantastic for us. It's mapped the intrusive fault structures uh, which host uh, mineralization. Uh, very, very good definition of those structures. Uh, and the bonus is uh, it is, has found some uh, anomalous rocks down there which are giving off the same seismic signatures as the massive sulfides near surface. Fantastic. And, and how, how deep are, are these rocks, your, 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 these targets you're, you're finding, and, and how big are they? Yeah, this, this large target that's identified is about 800 metres below the surface. Um, it's got a 450 metre dip extent, so it's looking like a very large uh, target with a potential to be a, a very large nickel sulphide deposit. We've only done a 2D survey, so we can't put the full 3D dimensions around the target but it is very, very well defined in the seismic target a data. So we can go ahead and drill it and find out exactly how big it is. Mm. And what is it about the target and, and, and the results you're getting back that give you confidence that it is similar, similar rocks to, to, to what you've discovered uh, uh, closer to surface so far? Yeah, no, it is ticking all the uh, boxes at the moment for a uh, potential massive sulphide deposit. It is a uh, down dip from the existing discoveries along the same structure. So again, typically that's where you would find some continuation of mineralization in an intrusive mineral system. Uh, the seismic signature for this new target is, is the same as the um, uh, shallow uh, massive sulfides we've discovered. We've looked at the drill core uh, for their shallow deposits and, and, and compared the seismic signals and it's giving off the same uh, seismic signature. So very, very robust uh, interpretation for a potential deposit down there. Fantastic. And obviously, the next step is to, is to get a, a drill into it. Yeah? When, when would you hope to do that? 
Yeah, we've simply run out of time this year, unfortunately, with Christmas looming now. Uh, but we have booked a rig with our preferred drillers at DDH1. Uh, they'll be on site uh, towards the end of uh, January, and this will be the first target that gets drilled. So we're very, very excited to be looking forward to a great start to 2022. Mm. And, and, you know, how long will that take to drill typically? You say, you say it's, it's 800 metres down, um, and I think you'd, you'd obviously want to go, you know, quite a lot through it. Um, how, how, how many metres are you planning to go for that? Yeah, it's an angled hole, so it'll probably end up being about a thousand metre uh, hole to be drilled. Uh, it could take 20 days, uh, a little bit less. That's what uh, typically you'd expect. Mm. And then obviously you'd be sending that off to the assay labs. And, and how's the situation with the, with the labs at the moment? Yes, the labs do have a, a bit of a delay at the moment. Um, hopefully this is uh, going to be uh, just a small uh, uh, hole that we just get surveyed, might be able to jump the queue. It's not going to be like 10,000 metres of our samples that some of the big exploration plays have. Um, but, yeah, there is a bit of a delay in the land. The good thing is this is diamond drilling, uh, so we will see visually uh, something in the core, uh, and we can also test it with our portable XRF gun, which will tell us uh, approximate metal values. Absolutely. Um, and you, you mentioned that it's a 2D survey um, at, at the moment. So what's what, what would be the plan um, to, to sort of work out uh, whether it extends left and right, so to speak? Yeah, exactly. It's 2D. So really, the only thing we can see reliably is the dip extent, 450 metres. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, we can't see the east-west strike. Um, we could do some more infill seismic, but it's so well defined at the moment. Best thing is to drill it. Uh, then we'll put the downhole EM in there, and that will actually light up uh, much more mineralization around that target and give us a bit more of a 3D dimensions. Mm. And you know this 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 particular target that you're going to put a hole into. It's not the only target this this uh, seismic has, has identified, yeah. Yeah, certainly the seismic seismic has has mapped uh, a number of other structures parallel to the cathedral's belt. Uh, we're currently looking at some of the anomalies that have been picked up there. Uh, I think very soon we might have a couple of other targets to to announce as well. So uh, very very exciting. This could have unlocked the. The, the missing piece in the puzzle for us, uh, the deeper deposits at Mount Alexander. Mm, absolutely. Um, and, you know, your, your, your initial discoveries were, were sort of were pretty shallow, sort of 35 metres, something like that. And then you had the, you know, the, the follow on success with your whole MAD uh, 199 um, further depth. This one a lot deeper. Um, what does this sort of tell you about what is the potential along the, the cathedral spell? Because obviously this, this new discovery of this new um, uh, anomaly it's only in one one spot along the belt what, what is this sort of telling you about the overall structure of what you've got there yeah exactly well the shallow discoveries do have a big strike extent 5.5 kilometers 5.5 kilometers plus across the cathedral's belt uh, the deepest uh, nickel sulfides we've had so far was in mad 199 earlier this year 330 odd meters downhole very good intersection, more than 11 metres of, of nickel sulphide. So that was confirmation that the, the system is fertile at depth. Uh, and now this seismic target is telling us that there is potential for even bigger uh, and more deposits at depth. So it's very, very exciting. We've only rolled out the seismic across uh, a three kilometre strike length, and there's potentially another six or more kilometres to, to test with the seismic. So um, it could open up a lot more exploration opportunities for us. Mm, just the just the beginning, possibly. Um, well, that's a fascinating um, update there on on the project, and and you know we look forward to all sitting on the edge of our seats uh, to see what uh, this hole um, can can bring up in uh, in January February sort of time. Yeah, no, we're keenly awaiting it as our shareholders, and I'd love to come back and, and tell you all about that drill hole once it's completed. Absolutely, we'll look forward to hearing from from you uh, then. But thank you very much, John. Thank you, Leah. Cheers.